Hello everybody, Fuzzy Knop here. Uh, in this tutorial I want to cover something that um, a lot of people overlook when they're just getting started into security and uh, something you definitely don't cover in, in school, well at least I didn't in, uh, at my school. So what this is, is um, I'm going to call it war gaming uh, for learning. So if you haven't heard of this, there's, there's plenty of things called war games out there and these war games are um, basically servers set up that allow you to practice hacking on them and, um, and you'll, you'll see in a second here. So my, my favorite is uh, Smash the Stack and you see I can, you can just google it or I think it's smashthestack.org but um, on here they have, they have a number of servers set up. The, the one I recommend starting with is IO and you'll see in a second here. So if you, if you go ahead and click that this button right there um, you're taken to the page and, and it tells you that you can connect through SSH. So if you're if you run Windows, you'll have to get something like PuTTY to uh, actually connect SSH to here. But if you're running Mac, you can just open up a terminal and just open up the terminal like this. And you can actually just type SSH level one at IO dot smash the stack dot org dash p two 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 four and all I'm doing typing here is uh is exactly what it says here okay and you're just telling your Mac to SSH to this is the um like instance name of the server and this is the servers basically like its URL and you're just specifying the port with that dash p two two four and you'll see if I type that correctly it will prompt me for a password and I'll type level, what is that there, level 1, and hit enter. And you won't see anything being typed, but if you type it correctly and it comes up, you'll see you're connected to the uh, Smash Stack server. Now, once you're on the server, there's a couple things in it, and that's kind of hard to see, so let me blow that up. Let's minimize this. So, once you're on the server, it gives you some instructions. You can read through them, and I do recommend that, but probably should be familiar with a few Linux commands because you're, you're basically sitting on a, on a Linux machine. Now this Linux machine is going to have a bunch of um, files. Now it has a level 1 file that if you figure out how to exploit that level 1 file it will give you access to read the password for level 2. And you basically keep, uh, keep progressing through like that until you get to the end or get bored or quit or kill yourself. So uh, let's see. So if I do a CD, it stands for change directory and slash for root this will take me to the root directory the command ls will list the contents of that directory and what you'll see here is a folder called levels so that levels folder is where the actual levels are stored so I'll type cd levels now and I can type ls again and here's all the levels in there so as you can see there's a level a level one now there's sometimes there's the C file and sometimes there's not. For level one, there's not. So to execute a file in Linux, you're just going to hit dot slash and then type level zero one and hit enter. And you'll see it gives you some output back. It says, you know, usage, level one, password. So what you have to try and do here is um, you know, figure out what it's what it's doing. So it wants you to like just type the password. You know, I'll try hello password, and it said fail. It means I didn't uh it said fail here, and it means I didn't uh I didn't type it right. So one thing you can do to start looking at this more, and I don't, the the people at Smash the Stack really don't want uh, me to like give away answers and stuff. So I, I'm not gonna do that. But I will tell you that you can um you can use a program called GDB. Uh, to debug this code. You can type gdb, you can type level 01. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up uh, level 01 in um, the gdb debugger. So within here there's a there's quite a few commands but I think I'll save it for a, another tutorial. So if you can uh, google on that and see how you might solve that but um, this is, uh, in general, a really great tool to start learning concepts of software exploitation. 
and many people have never really heard of it. So if you're, you know, a hobbyist or you're in school or you're wanting to learn more about security and you're sick of just hearing about, you know, access controls and you want to learn more about uh, like the hacking side if you want to get into penetration testing, uh, this is a really great learning tool and it's helped me a lot in, uh, in interviews and it's helped me out uh, in just uh, learning these concepts that uh, a book was really hard to teach. Um, I think it's going a bit long, but l one other thing is there is a book that really uh, helps. Now, one thing you can read if you don't want to buy a book, uh, Smash the Stack is a play on words, uh, and it's actually a paper written by a guy named Aleph One. It's going to basically tell you everything that Smash the Stack is about. So it, it's at insecure.org, stf, smash the stack.html. You can click on that link. And if you read this paper now, it might be a bit tough if you don't have a background in computer science, but um, if you manage to make it through, he basically talks about how uh, buffer overflows can occur and how you're going to be doing them. And I'll cover that more in later tutorials, but if you want to go here and start reading that, that's another great place to start. Okay, and oh, well, yeah, real quick. The book is... Hacking the Art of Exploitation by John Erickson. It's, uh, it's a little easier to follow than Aleph One's uh, Smash the Stack, but you're going to want this one. It's the, the second edition. You see, you can pick it up on Amazon for 30 bucks. It was 20 bucks used, so uh, that, that'd be a good investment if you're looking to get into uh, software and system exploitation, pen penetration testing. So, okay, yep, that's all. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, please subscribe, send me a message, uh, let me know what you thought. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a good one.